Okay, so let's have a look at how the interpreter and the compiler actually works. All right, they both actually start with the source code, which is normally written in a high level language, which is programmer actually keyed in, all right, and is readable by human, but not understandable by machine. So if that is the case, you will need either the interpreter or the compiler to convert it into something that a machine can understand before it can execute. So the interpreter is actually very simple. You just take one line of code, interpret it to something that the machine can understand and it get executed. It does the same with the next line, right? convert it into something that the computer can understand and then execute it. Right. So that's basically it. But a compiler works slightly different. Right. Slightly different. All right. It takes the whole source code, compile everything into an object code. Now, the computer can understand the object code. So the object code can be executed by the computer. All right. Now, the interesting thing is the, comp the object code is actually stored someplace, maybe inside the uh, SSD, your hard drive, okay? And the next time, you do not need to go through this process anymore. You just take the object code and you execute it, all right, okay? But of course, uh, you have to remember if you make any changes to the source code, then you have to go through the whole process again, all right? So which means, okay, if you look at how the interpreter and the compiler work, hopefully this will give you an idea the next time when you write a code, okay, see how it works, or does it create an object code? And from there, you can deduce whether it is an interpreter or a compiler that you're using.